<clears throat> hey guys and girls, it's DC here and today I have one of the most requested videos on this channel which is how to become a cybersecurity penetration tester or a ethical hacker. So jumping straight in, I'll give you a quick uh, overview, I guess, of what a uh, cybersecurity ethical hacker is. Um, so let's let's get straight in. So a penetration testers are often called ethical hackers because they attempt to crack into a computer system for the purpose of testing its relative security rather than to steal information or create havoc. In order to become a penetration tester, you'll need to not only know how to write code, but also write reports to demonstrate the results of your tests. Now, the uh, key responsibilities uh, involved in being a penetration tester um, are a penetration tester has a lot of responsibility on uh, his or her shoulders, and their responsibilities only begin when they hack into a system. After that, they become part manager, part technical writer, and part security administrator. Uh, corporations and uh, governmental agencies rely on these specialized professionals to uh, put their security to the test and measure its efficiency uh, against malicious, unethical hackers. Uh, if, for example, a pen tester uh, determines that a system is sound and incapable of being compromised by criminals or terrorists or whoever, uh, the rest of the security team will assume that their job is done. Uh, being a pen tester needs uh, need constantly update their skills, uh, knowledge and methods for hacking systems. They need to study new security software packages and learn all they can about new protocols in security teams so that they can find uh, the vulnerabilities. Um, a good pen tester is always learning to stay up to date with current technologies and how they can be exploited. Uh, not only will they need to assess the weaknesses in a certain network uh, or certain devices, um, but they should be able to write reports that communicate these weaknesses in a easy to understand manner. Uh, strong written and oral communication skills are a necessary part of the profession and you will also need to have a good working knowledge uh, of business and management to demonstrate the implications of the weaknesses you find. For example, uh, you would need to uh, be able to demonstrate any potential losses in terms of lost work hours, recovery time, uh, loss of intellectual property, uh, and other disruptions once you find a flawed system. Um, it's all about risk, basically. Uh, like if if a sales team uh, faces three day, days of da downtime after a database is erased or corrupted, uh, which would obviously be a huge issue, it would be important to show the financial impact that it could have for the company. Uh, those findings will be presented to management with uh, all appropriate visual aids to ensure that the case is clear to all stakeholders in the business. Uh, pen testers don't only assess problems but can be instrumental in formulating solutions to these problems. A good pen tester uh, presentation will include suggestions for a network redesign um, or present a variety of software packages or coding approaches that can help secure the network from attack. So what, what does a, a, a a day look like for a pen test or an ethical hacker. Um, ethical hacking is like a 50-50 mix of super awesome cool stuff uh, and incredibly boring laborious work. Um, unlike real life hackers, you probably only have a few days to compromise a system. Um, you'll also be expected to document uh, and explain your methods and every little finding in detail. Uh, pen testing has been called one of the most frustrating jobs in the infosec slash cybersecurity industry. Uh, overall, 
you are likely to be required to, and I'm just going to list these off. Um, I'm reading them off a huge list here, so bear with me one second. Uh, you are likely to be required to perform formal penetration tests on web-based applications, networks, and computer systems. Uh, conduct physical security assessments of servers, systems, and network devices. Design and create new penetration tools and tests. Probe for vulnerabilities in web applications, uh, fat slash thin client applications, and standard applications. If you don't know what a fat or thin client is, Google it. Uh, it's a very simple one. Uh, pinpoint methods that attackers could use to exploit weaknesses and logic flaws. Employ social engineering to uncover security holes. For example, poor user security practices or password policies. Um, a good example of that is um, if you go to the reception of a large corporate building and you ask them to uh, if you can print something on their computer, uh, they just need to print it off a USB. Uh, that's like 101 social engineering. Um, where was I? Uh, research, document, discuss security findings with management and IT teams. Review and define requirements for information security solutions. Work on improvements for security services, including the continuous enhancement of existing methodology, material, and supporting assets. And finally, provide feedback and verification as an organization fixes their security issues. Uh, during a uh, pen test or penetration test, you are typically going to be focusing on exploiting vulnerabilities. That's the, the main job, right? So I, I just wanted to list out a few different types of pen testers and um, I guess the job role. So I'll start with um, at the beginning and, and we'll get to the end there. So uh, number one is the web and or a mobile app pen tester. Um, basically, in here, you're going to learn to code. It's usually what differentiates the uh, expert wannabes and the real experts in the end. Um, learn how to uh, learn how software stacks work to get a grasp of web programming languages such as Java and PHP and their respective frameworks. Um, you're going to be breaking things and then using that skill of taking it all apart to understand how it all works. Um, it doesn't mean you're going to have to be a guru software engineer, but you can't go wrong knowing the basics. So once you've completed all the resources on an OWASP um, or OWASP, uh, you'll pretty much know what to do next. The next one is the network uh, slash desktop apps pen tester. So computer software pen tester. Uh, these people create a local lab of complex network and various components in it, like a sandbox. And then you essentially break stuff in that sandbox to see how they work. So it's often called uh, reverse engineering. Um, you will also deploy some services such as LAMP, uh, also known as Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, um, stack and then Google out how to secure each of those elements. Uh, while building, study what issues you can uh, a study what issues can arise during the configuration of further maintenance um, so you know what issues to avoid and how to test them in the future in uh, other environments where sysadmins hadn't had the time. Um, the interest or knowledge to secure instances the way you could. So um, you can also navigate to PTES, which is Penetration Testing Execution Standard Technical Guidelines and um, see what are the ways penetration testers and hackers could potentially attack your network. Uh, then reverse engineer their attack methods and build defenses so the attacks no longer work. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Next one is the specialized pen tester. Uh, basically, a specialized pen tester is going to pick one technology and they're going to go as deep as they can into that technology. So. Instead of being a web app pen tester, uh, become a you could you could do like a Node.js security expert, for example. Um, by becoming a specialist instead of being a generalist, you could cut the learning progress uh, process rather uh, in half or potentially even more. And um, 
yeah, just find something you're curious about, learn more about it, become super passionate about it in the field. And um, yeah, a few solid years of ded- dedication and uh, you'll go real far. Next one, and the last one is a red teamer. Um, so a red team is basically all of the above recommendations on what you should do to get there, uh, including social engineering and physical security attacks. Uh, you may not have the technical uh, predispositions to be a great web pen tester, but if you have been gifted with empathy and social skills, then um, yeah, you can you can get really far as a red teamer. Um, you do need to learn all the other stuff though, and um, I'm just I'm going to go on to that now. So the education and skills that are involved. So the education skills that are involved in becoming a penetration tester, you should do these following things. One, learn hardware and networking. These things are the main tiers to learn penetration testing since pen testing deals uh, majorly with networking and uh, partially with the hardware itself. So as a reason, you must have to learn these things in depth to keep footprints in the sector. Number two, uh, operating system and system architecture. Uh, operating system and system architecture plays a key role in pen testing. The system operation deals with x86, uh, 32-bit, or x64, which is 64-bit architecture, and you also must have to know about various operating systems such as Windows, Linux, BSD, Mac, Solaris, uh, Unix, etc., uh, which can help you out um, to, sorry, track uh, the systems while you make port scanning in penetration testing methodology. Number three, coding, web development, server side, and client side scripting. These four things also play a uh, plays a result in penetration testing, where you will use these four things to. Uh, write security programs or exploits to conduct a penetration testing, uh, pe- penetration test rather on the target, um, and writing security patches and minimizing the vulnerabilities um, or risk factor of a software server network, etc. Uh, the most common coding languages used in pen testing are C, C++, and Python. So after learning these things, uh, a penetration testing method is as follows. Number one, gathering information slash reconnaissance. So this is the main part to gather information about the firm or firm's website address and its IP address, Uh, name servers, mail exchanges, etc. The network topology, FTP uh, protocol users, uh, using advanced searches, using Google, uh, being to get the basically just get the entire information about servers, etc. Uh, along with this, a person who conducts a penetration test uh, in this method uh, gathers info about the server working location and who had developed it. So you, you're basically going into and scanning the website, doing port scans, finding out uh, what's open on what port, and yeah just finding the vulnerabilities. It's all about, it's like getting a funnel, right? Number two, uh, vulnerability assessment. So in this sector, you will get to know a vulnerability has been exposed in the server. Uh, Say for example, Recon, uh, Nikto, Uniscan, etc. for scanning web server vulnerabilities. And also along with this, you must have to use some tools such as Tripwire, uh, reverse engineering tools like Hex, maybe, um, OBJ, um, oh, what's it called? OBJ Dump, and uh, debuggers such as uh, GDB um, in Linux or and Immunity Debugger in Windows. Um, you can also find security vulnerabilities in softwares. Uh, of course, which is what I was explaining before as the desktop app pen tester. Um, you can do that in stuff like, there's plugins like Metasploit uh, or 
going through DNS zone transfers and finding some misconfigurations, etc. Number three, exploitation. This is a method that shows you how an exploit can trigger a vulnerability. Uh, for example, multi HTTP Tomcat whatever deployed uh, exploit triggers vulnerability located in a server in uh, net API um, and you can then exploit triggers and vulnerability present in Windows XP um, that's a little bit outdated but maybe you get the idea um, I'm not sure if I explained that enough so at the end then there is the post exploitation which is um, you, you basically want to do this after you've compromised the target machine or network. Uh, number five, clearing your tracks. So after the work of post -exploit, uh, exploitation is done, you need to clear the tracks. For example, you want to, uh, you, you've hacked into a server, you need to type things like uh, clear EV uh, or run event manager minus C. Um, once you learn those things, you'll, you'll know a little bit more. Number six, uh, report writing. So after completion of all the above procedures, you would need to write a report for the company regarding how the countermeasures must be taken for you to avoid cyber attacks. Uh, because if someone was doing this maliciously, they would have been hacked if you had gained access, of course. Lastly, and probably the biggest question that everyone has about pen testers, red teamers, etc. Um, salary. So, the average salary of a pen tester um, depends on what sort of pen tester you become, uh, which company you decide to work for, and uh, whereabouts you are. If you're in the US, though, the average annual income is around one hundred to one hundred thirty thousand US dollars a year. So that concludes my video for how to become a cyber security penetration tester or ethical hacker or pen tester or whatever you want to call it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was nice and informative for you and helps you with your decision in uh, either becoming one or not. Um, if you did like this video though, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, give me a like, uh, comment down the bottom if you have any questions. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I post videos like this all the time. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.